Hey guys, so the Galaxy Buds Plus are a really good pair of wireless earbuds and after a couple of weeks of using them, here are my top tips for getting the most out of them. Now of course, connecting your buds are the first thing to do. I've already done a couple of videos on showing you how to set them up via the Galaxy Wearables app and the iOS app. But what if you just want to pair them to another Bluetooth device, such as a laptop? Well, not many people know this, but it's quite simple. Simply press down on the buds at the same time, and after around three or four seconds, you'll hear a beeping noise. This is the buds telling you that it's in pairing. Then just whatever the device you're on, go to the connections menu, and you should see them under Bluetooth devices. The Galaxy Buds Plus offer a load of gestures that can perform different functions. For example, single tap for play and pause, double tap to play next track and answer phone calls, triple tap the previous tracks, touch and hold to decline a call and to also have a preset option for both left and right bud. So this includes to hold down on the buds to select Spotify, activate ambient sound mode, turning volume up and down and summoning your digital assistant. So the Galaxy Wearables app is where it's at in terms of controlling all the settings for your Galaxy Buds Plus. And one of the best sections to look at in this app, the section titled Lab, this is like a testing area for new features that you'll be able to try out on the Galaxy Buds. Here you'll see three options. First of which is to add the option to double tap earbud edge. And turning this on allows you to tap tap the top of the right bud to increase volume and tap the left and tap the top of the left bud to decrease volume. Now to me this is a really good feature. The ability to turn volume up and down directly on the buds is excellent. Now the e next option is to increase ambient sound. Now you'll see on the app before turning this option on that there's three different settings for ambient sound, low, medium and high. But in the lab section you can turn this on to enable extra high ambient sound. This means that whilst we're in the buds you can probably literally hear a pin drop because it really does increase the amount of sound that the buds let in. I can see this being a clear benefit if you're using them whilst working in an office or if you're at home and you need to be able to hear downstairs for someone knocking on the door. The final option in the lab section of the Galaxy app is gaming mode. Now this reduces the, the amount of latency between the sound of games and videos whilst using the buds and it's a significant improvement on the original buds. Now one point to note when having this mode turned on is that the, connect, the Bluetooth connection can cut out if you move away from the phone. So it dramatically cuts down the range of Bluetooth. But if you're just sitting down, playing a game, watching a video, whilst ho holding the phone or tablet, then they work perfectly. Now one of my favorite features, and it's probably a key tip if you are using the buds, is to recognize the ability to charge them wirelessly, and in particular, the ability to use reverse wiring charge if your phone allows it. Now, I have to say that the battery life on the Buds Plus is excellent. However, if you're like me and have battery anxiety, then it's great to have the option to wirelessly charge the Buds on the go. Now, one tip that I've only just found out while she's using the Buds is the ability to mute phone calls by long pressing the bud. So there you have it. After two weeks using the Galaxy Buds Plus, I really enjoy using them and I hope you found this video really useful, highlight some of the key features of the buds. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day. Cheers.